Hello, everybody, and welcome to Nourishing Your Multidimensional Body. Um, as people pop on, I'm just going to say a few words uh, so we can start myself there. Hold on. I'm back. Okay. Um, and um, that's what I wanted to show is our names. Okay. So as people pop on, so this is uh, Kathy Holmeyer with Nourishing Your Multidimensional Body. And today I am with, uh, Dipal, say your name correctly. How do you say your name correctly? <laughs> it's Deepal, like people. Deepal. You okay. know, we've been called oh, Deepal for the longest time. I mean, for years. And I really just went with that, you know, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, you really say my name Deepal, like people, you okay. know? So, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> okay, well, welcome um, to the yeah to Academy of the Soul, and then this will be shared or shared out as well. Um, and today we're going to talk about something that's coming up for everybody. Right now we're taping this at holiday time, so we're talk going to be talking about fam kind of family stressors and triggers. But this is good through the whole year. Hey, Becky, nice to have you. Um, and if you're here, just say hello uh, where you're from. Love to know that you're on. And while you're talking, while we're kind of talking, and uh, Deepal is um, introducing herself, I'm going to put this up on the screen as well. What are your family stressors? And let's see what people write. What are your family stressors? So either if you're listening this on the on the um, you know live or on the replay, what are your family stressors coming up? I know. Uh, Unfortunately, right? Family is wonderful, but you know, here we go into holiday season. And uh, so, Deepal, uh, for folks who don't know um, who you are and um, what you do, give us a little introduction to yourself. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Kathy. I want to thank you, first of all, for having me here. And hello to everyone out there who is joining us and who's going to be listening to the replay. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Deepal Shaw. And I'm a master healer, teacher, and international speaker. And I train people just like you to overcome your chronic health issues. You know, you may have seen me maybe on global telesummits or heard me on there and other podcasts. And so I'm very excited to be here today as we are going to be talking about stressors and triggers uh, during the holidays. And <clears throat> You know, we're already here in the holiday season. I mean, it came so quickly, it seems like. And some of you may be traveling to see your families or having families over like I am. And this is the time of the year where I find just so many people dealing with family stress and triggers that come up. And so today, that's what I want to help you with. I want to teach you some techniques that will help you get through the holidays and probably every day, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, this is being taped around Christmas time, which, you know, families are getting together. And while it's so much fun, it's always, you're always like, oh, that, you know, okay, let's let's breathe, you know? So yeah, thanks, Deepal, because I think this is really uh, great, like I said, any time of year or especially around the holidays and even birthdays and things like that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's always a celebration going on, right? That mm -hmm. in the family. Um, I remember like in the summer, we would have like this past summer, my husband decided he wanted to have a family reunion here. We had 45 people staying in the house over six days. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Talk about triggers and stressors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't a holiday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So hi, Kiris and Lynn and yeah. Becky. And um just putting their names up too as people pop in and say hello. Yeah, if you're out there, let's let us know that you're here and where you're from and say hello and tell us what your family stressors are. Um, so, uh, Deepal, what do you feel are like the, the three, the three most important or some of the top that you that you see and deal with? Yeah. So the three main family stressors and triggers that I see around the holidays, because the holidays tend to amplify these energies, mm -hmm. you know, they heighten them to a whole other level where you become more aware of them in your conscious mind. Now, they're always there in that subconscious mind on an everyday basis. And this time of the year, like right after um, Halloween, you know, all of a sudden you feel it exacerbated you know all these triggers and everything just starts to take a whole other um frequency mm -hmm. and um so 
you know, the three reasons, uh, you know, they, they, you know, you could feel, you know, and I'll share with you the three reasons in just a little bit, but you know, it's, it's these, uh, it makes your body, if you're feeling like your body, you can't breathe and your body just feels constricted all the time, then you're feeling the stress of the holidays. And there's three big reasons. You know, one of them is of course, obligations and pressures. Right. You may feel obligated or pressured right now to purchase certain gifts and don't have the finances. You know, this is the number one pressure most people mm -hmm. feel. And if you're feeling that, I'd love to hear from you guys. But you may feel pressure to attend parties at this time that you're invited to or maybe even feel obligated or pressured into family drama. OK, now this can cause all kinds of stresses in the body, including depression headaches, excessive drinking, overeating, mm -hmm. right? And maybe even insomnia. How many of you lose sleep because you're like, oh my gosh, I, I can't take it anymore. Um, how am I going to deal with Aunt May? You know, she can't stop talking and she's a narcissist or whatever it may be, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, th that's, that's one, of, one of the biggest reasons. And then of course, secondly, is forgetting the true meaning of the holiday season. You know, we become more involved in the materialistic and want everything to be perfect. Okay. And, um, and then there's, of course, third, you know, last but not least is unresolved past traumas that show up very, very strongly. Mm -hmm. You know, I had one lady who I worked with just last week and she was so tired of dealing with her narcissist dad and he would call her all the time and she would literally be throwing up as, as he's talking to her on the phone she's like i can't even call him and he'll come right over and um do things that i don't need him to do for me and it would build up all this anxiety within her because number one of course she wasn't creating boundaries you know, during the holidays, I see that boundaries are thrown out the door. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Because of the obligations mm -hmm. and the pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to keep the peace. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, and then I had another lady who was grieving over her mom during the holidays. This is the time when her mom had had passed several, several years ago, but she was still grieving over it. I mean, I just lost my grandmother about three weeks ago. And I could see my mom, you know, my mom's here for the holidays. And I could just see that she still, of course, it's very fresh. Mm -hmm. And she's still grieving. And it's okay, right? But is there a way to alleviate, a way to help people through the holidays who are grieving, right? Mm -hmm. and find a way to find uh, a, a technique that, that, um, that will help with the grievance. Mm -hmm. the loss, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, there's a lot of people that feel very lonely right now mm -hmm. um, who don't even have somebody with that. Right. Yes. So, that's true. so, you know, all of these things can cause all kinds of stress and triggers. You know, holidays just do that. Like I said, it just heightens and amplifies it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, I have a friend who's going, going to be going through um, her first Christmas without her mom. So that's going to be very, you know, very tough as, as much as, you know, and you see people that you don't see all the time yeah. and uh, some you want to see when it, and it's obviously, you know, really awesome, but it's, uh, the, and then the, it's the combination, I think, of people that are, are differences that you're not with the combinations of those people and, and different levels all the time as well. So. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So Christy says hello and thank you for sharing. And uh, yeah, I figured who was Lynn down here says communications are one of her um, one of her family stressors. Which <laughs> I'm not sure anybody's totally devoid of that, unfortunately. But um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So did you want to go into any of the processes that we can use with the, with the time we have here? It would be interesting yeah. to hear what you have to say with some simple techniques. Hello, Sheila. Um, some, uh, you know, simple techniques that we can start to look at once we start gathering here for our, our wonderful, our wonderful, but challenging sometimes family yeah. gathering. Yeah, definitely. So what I have realized is that these energies that you 
feel are, like I said, always going to be there. But just imagine feeling light and finding that light of all of these situations and vibrating at a higher frequency so that you're able to handle the chaos and the pressures and the family drama and the feelings of loneliness and all the old hurts and pains that come up, right? And I can't say, oh, they're just gonna go away, right? But we have to make light of what we, what we feel. And that's the key, right? How do we uh, dissipate that darkness mm -hmm. that, that we find ourselves in? So here's some techniques and um, that you can use to raise your frequency and fi find light within this holiday season and every single day of your life. Okay, so <clears throat> here's a technique that I just love to release all the obligations and pressures. And I want you to just tune into your body. Everybody that's here, tune into your body. And those of you that will be listening to the replay, this will work for you too. So, so uh, just tune into your body right now. <clears throat> And I want you to notice, where do you feel that tightness, that constriction, maybe even a pain showing up? Maybe you even feel like you can't breathe. So I want you to take a nice deep breath in and a nice breath out. And what we're going to do to find the light within and to bring that light in we're going to use laughter yoga and mm -hmm. Kat, you're going to do this with me okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you may find this a very silly silly exercise but it is something that really really works because as we all know laughter is the best medicine mm -hmm. right so what i want you to do each of you I want you to laugh from your belly and I want you to push it up. Okay, as if you just heard the funniest joke. So when I count to three, we're gonna laugh until I say, okay, you can stop now, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> from the belly is an interesting thing to, to think about from your belly it is. <laughs> you feel like santa claus <laughs> okay i get it <laughs> Ah, take a nice deep breath in and you can stop now. <laughs> you know what I found that when you said laugh from your belly, I almost feel like Santa Claus doing the whole thing. And then it gets lighter. It does. <laughs> it does. And you start laughing from up here and the, the energy just starts to flow up and out. And then you're just laughing, you know? It's yep. such a fun exercise. <laughs> Please tell us how you feel. Tell us how, how that worked out for you. And you could do it much longer than we did, of course. Yeah. For as long as you need. Um, okay. So who, who out there actually tried the laughing? Let's hear it. Come on. Yes. <laughs> you have to do this. <laughs> oh, I still got the giggles. <laughs> Well, you want to laugh at yourself because when you, like when you said, when you said laugh from your belly, you really, and of course we're doing this around the holidays, so I'm thinking Santa, ho, 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 and kind of doing that. And then you kind of laugh at yourself and then I'm laughing at you and I'm actually, exactly. and, and then I'm feeling it go lighter. So it was interesting. I was at the ho, ho, ho stage and then kind of getting uh, like a, a lighter, higher, higher laugh. So that's pretty cool. It is. It's so much fun. It's one of my favorite, favorite techniques. So, yeah, we definitely want to hear from you guys. If you guys did that exercise, I want to know how that made you feel. How does that get your body? Yeah, there's a bunch of people on. I don't know if they're admitting to it or what here, but. Um, <laughs> or they yeah. didn't do it. <laughs> no, they didn't do it. Oh, there's there's Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie Lee. Um, she did, and she and it, it, Lorne felt amazing. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Really cool. So this thing, this technique, okay, you can use it before a family gathering. Yeah, Lynn says, Lynn says she's going to totally do this during with the group for Christmas. 
<laughs> yeah, do it. You know, in especially even after, right? If you mm -hmm. wish to do it, you know, it's a great way to release the stress and the drama. And it's a way to come back to your body and really find the peace because you're letting go of all those stuck emotions and whatever the family's bringing out in you, right? At that moment. Yeah. And, and I think it's really, when you don't feel like laughing, it's actually probably pretty hard to start, but once you start mm -hmm. it, you kind of release that. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're thinking if it's, it's really hard to say to somebody, oh, we'll just start laughing, but exactly. just, just, yeah, like you said, from the belly, just start doing the ho, ho, ho thing. And, and uh, it'll just, it'll just expand and keep kind of um, building up on itself. And we have to, we have to make light of our situation, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, there really is no other way um, to do this except to make light of any situation. Otherwise, you will go into depression, you will feel anxious, you will go into panic mode. Mm -hmm. And that's not fun, because now you're not present, and you're not grounded, and in the stillness, you know, and really thinking straight, because how many of we actually, like, think straight around family, right? Or even yeah. on yeah. Family? Sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't think straight, right? Mm -hmm. How many times do you hear people even say that? Mm -hmm. So, you know, so here's another technique that I just love to help back, uh, you know, to bring back the spiritual aspect of, of Christmas. You know, the spirit of being together with family, being of service, giving, loving, all the things that we forget, you know, connecting with each other. And of course, the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. So this is... Um, Grounding your energy, bringing the light in through your spine with the sound of the universe. So when I count to three, what we're going to do is we're going to chant and we're going to chant Om three times. Okay. Okay. So just sit, sit up straight and you can close your eyes if you wish. Um, it just makes it so much more powerful because that sound starts to resonate throughout, uh, not just in your home and the space around you, but throughout the universe, okay? So when I count to three, we're gonna use this, we're gonna start to chant Om. So one, two, three. Om. Really breathe in deeply and then do your last om. And now take a nice deep breath in and a nice out and open your eyes. Whew. Yeah. How does that feel? I don't know if people could hear that, but I could actually uh, feel or hear the resonance of the sound coming through. Yeah. You can, you can feel the pulsing of that sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you could feel it throughout your whole body, not only through your lips, but even throughout the whole body. And you really connect with the earth and the heavens and really feel the resonance of that. That's the resonance that you're feeling. Mm -hmm. um, I always talk about the big fields um, and being, which is more than grounded, being um, grounded to the, or, or uh, uh, aligned with the big fields and the ohm is one way to do it. Um, yeah. The different fields that we're aligning to mother earth at the same time. So that's awesome. Um, yes. Yeah. And this technique, you know, you can use in your mind when you're around family or even before again, or, you know, after, right? But it gives you a place to focus. It's, um, you know, a mantra that plays in the back of your mind when things are just getting a little crazy there, you know, kids are crying, throwing tantrums, whatever it may be going on, but it gives you this peace of mind. And the sound, the sound is very healing to the body. 
-hmm. So you can imagine, you know, I want you guys to try it. Please try this whenever you are having, um, you know, going through uh, these moments with family or even any other time in your life. So that's the second technique, okay? So we still have one more technique to go. And this other technique I love to use to help with unresolved past uh -huh. Now, past traumas, right? So whether you're dealing with grief, uh, which may involve a loss of a loved one, a parent, a grandparent, a sibling, a child, maybe even a grief over a divorce, a breakup, abuse, abandonment, right? Um, I see unfulfilled promises and even loneliness that come up. So these things don't have to be recent. They may have happened years and years ago, but it brings up and stirs up these feelings and emotions within you uh, during this time because it is the most sensitive time of the year. So here is what you could do to alleviate this. Um, and here's what I want you to do every time a trigger comes up so that you can, and you could do it around others too. Any of these, you could do it around other people. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. You can close your eyes, okay? And just put your hand on your third chakra, okay? That third chakra is your solar uh, solar plexus. It is located right uh, in the lower ribs, right in between, okay? That point in between. And I want you to breathe into this area. And I want you to imagine a beautiful yellow ball of light. Use all of your senses. Okay, feel it, see it, know it. It's glowing so deeply. It's illuminating and spinning. And just imagine letting go of everything that you're holding on to as you breathe out. And as you breathe into this area, you're bringing in the new. So breathing out the old and bringing in the new. And now let's just go to your heart. Move your hand up to your heart space. And with your eyes closed, just breathe into the heart. And as you focus here, imagine a beautiful green light. See it glowing brightly, just completely illuminated as you let go the pain that you're holding on to in your heart. Just bring in the light. And take a nice deep breath in and a nice breath out. And open your eyes. Notice how that feels, especially if you've done all three techniques. You may feel tingling, you may feel a warm sensation, you may even feel a loved one just hugging, wrapped around you. Like I do right now, I can feel my grandmother just wrapped around me. And I just love it, love it. So please share with us how you feel Yeah, I definitely had some uh, past memories coming up of, um, you know, some family past memories that are that are old, old yeah. wounds in the past and going, oh, yeah, where did that just come from? I haven't thought about that for a while. So, yeah, definitely thought about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm putting up the comments of folks who are um, remembering to ohm and remember and, um, you know, Lynn's talking about resonance and the the um, the sounds, really. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah that we, we listen to sound all the time, but forget that actually, um, I mean, we have our MP3s and we know that listening, listening to things are healing, but also the tones of things um, that are wonderfully healing, which is really cool. Well, imagine, you know, somebody had talked, Kathy, about, um, about communication, mm -hmm. right? So when you chant OM, it also opens up that throat. 
right? Mm -hmm. And now, guess what? You're going to be communicating a lot better. Right. Okay. So you're opening up a lot of different channels when you're doing these techniques. They're very, mm -hmm. very powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very simple, but very, have a lot more going on than, than meets the eye. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We've got, um, is that Ibrahim saying tears come to eyes? Sheila is saying it's a very comforting feeling. So, yeah. We definitely got some folks following through on this already. So that's cool. And remember, folks, this will be um, as a recording. Uh, you can look in it. And um, Deepal, Deepal and I will both share the YouTube as well as be on the Akashic Academy, where there's always wonderful shows every day. Uh, different folks. Um, I've got Christy on. She's got a show. And I think, Deepal, you were with uh, Christy on a show on Akashic Academy, too, I think. Yes, I was just a few yep. months ago. Yeah. So, and that recording is there too, if you're looking more from uh, Deepal. And I'll put your uh, website up while you, you can keep on talking if you have anything more to say about those processes. And in the meantime, um, I'll give them your website if you wanted to communicate with um, you. And also, uh, if you wanna talk about anything coming up in your world. Yeah, so, you know, if you wanna live the holiday stress-free and every single day stress-free, there are different ways, of course, of trying to do that. And I recommend full emergence, okay? Giving yourself dedicated time. You know, we don't do that enough. Give ourselves that time. Um, you know, we say, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go get a massage, but how long before you notice that, oh, I haven't had a massage in a year, right? And we always, we, we forget to dedicate and take care of ourselves. And it's very, very important to do so. And so it's amazing what you could do with dedicated time. And that is why I created a three-day online healing retreat. That way, everybody can make it because it's online. You don't have to go anywhere. It's in the comfort of your own home. And I just love doing things, you know, from the comfort of my own home, right? There's no pressure there when I'm doing something online. So... This healing event is happening February 8th, 9th, and 10th, where you get to immerse into these kinds of healing energies that you were able to experience today on the call. Now, here's what you're going to experience on the three-day online healing event is find your purpose and start making powerful decisions in your life. You're going to find your own spiritual gifts and become a light in this world. You're going to live in wholeness by being grounded in your body. You're going to heal your relationships with yourself and others. You're going to open up yourself to your own self-worth, self-confidence, and become confident and vibrant with self-esteem. You're going to be able to release old pains and traumas, and finally let them go. And last but not least, you're gonna to learn to manifest abundance through your own energy. Now this three day event is for, it's a transforming weekend to heal the physical and the spiritual aspects of your being of your mind, body, and soul. And I invite all of you to be there. It's, a, it's the best gift that you can give yourself this holiday season or for the new year, or have somebody come with you, you know, and do it together, right? Um, it's a great way of giving a gift to somebody if you're looking for a gift as well. Um, you know, I'll, uh, the URL, um, Kathy, is that up where people could sign up? Um, I have your website up. Okay, right? awesome. perfect. Yes. So you can go to my website and you could find um, where it says on top. It says, uh, I think, I believe it says online uh, healing retreat. So you will find it right there. Okay. And we've got thank yous and um, all that. I've put that up on the screen. So you'll be able to say those in the comments. And if there's anything anybody wants to put in the comments, um, it may not be right away, but it might be right away. But um, DePaul and I will uh, answer questions that you put in the comments. Um, we'll go back to the broadcast. So if you're seeing this on the replay, go ahead and comment and we will um, 
We will reply to you. We'll put some of the links in the comments as well so you, that you can see them. And from my website, it's nourishing9d.com. I've got some exciting things coming up for 2012. Um, my nutritional energetics program is going to have a lot going on. And here at the lodge, we'll have online and on-site retreats as well. So it uh, sounds like um, 2019 is going to be an exciting year. So I'm looking I'm looking forward to it, actually. I, am. I don't know about anybody else. Yeah, a little stuff in the past, and, let, and let's move up. Deepal, thank you so much. It's I'm thrilled that we finally got to connect. We've messaged before and been on different forums together. So um, nice having you. And thanks for those three. If you if you're just tuning in somehow, go back and listen to the replay. We've got some laughter and some oming um, and some releasing. So go back and do those three very simple but very powerful um, uh, processes that Deepal led us through just in a really short time. So thank you for that. And everybody thanks you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So everybody have a happy holiday. If you're listening to this in real time, if you're listening on the replay or after the holidays, these wonderful processes um, work any time of year, of course, and are very important during during little family gatherings and everything. So thank you very much, people. And we'll talk to everybody later. Bye bye. Happy holidays.